The 16th Sunday after Pentecost, Year A, from the book of Exodus. Draw near to the Lord, for he has heard your complaining. In the name of that Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. There's a whole lot of complaining going on in our readings for this week. The Israelites accuse Moses and Aaron of bringing them out into the wilderness to kill them with hunger. The first set of workers in the vineyard complains about being treated the same as those who worked for only the last part of the day. And if we read between the lines of Paul's letters to the Philippians, we can guess that they too had been complaining complaining about sharing the same struggles that Paul had experienced before them. What are we to make of the fact that God hears our complaining and responds by giving us bread from heaven? This is not the manna our forebears ate in the wilderness, not even the blessed Eucharist from which we're fasting in this time of pandemic. Instead, it's the reality behind the Eucharist, the reality that our God became one of us and lived and died among us. The Eucharist can become the body of Christ only because Christ himself became flesh. This is what Paul means when he says to the Philippians that living is Christ and dying is gain. Living out our lives, doing the work for which we've been hired, experiencing the hardships that come to us in the course of our lives. That's the foundation of what it means to be Christ-like. That is what enables us to strive side by side with one mind for the faith of the gospel. Considering the gift of manna teaches us to go out as the Israelites did and work beside our neighbors, to gather enough to supply us all for each day, not knowing what the next day will bring, <laughs> except that it will be enough. What we gather is spiritual food, mindfulness of our shared humanity, searching for the Lord and his strength, which was perfected in human weakness, continually seeking the Lord's face in the face of our neighbors. This seeking is faithfulness. This searching is discipleship. When we find ourselves complaining then, let us draw near to the Lord who continually shares in our struggles, having drawn near to us both in living and in dying. In the name of that same Lord, Jesus Christ, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns now and forever. Amen.